How many people does it take to establish a colony on Mars? Scientists' considerations about a potential colony on Mars are getting more and more advanced. Recently, in this context, people have begun to wonder how numerous the first Martian settlement should be in order to cope. Simulations showed that only 22 people would be enough. 22 people is the minimum number needed to establish a human colony on Mars, according to a new study. These analyzes were based on computer simulations. Researchers have also identified which personality types are best suited for a long-term stay on the Red Planet. The description and results of the research were published in the pre-print database, Archive. In the context of a manned mission to Mars, or later a colony, to which this mission would contribute. Various factors have already been analyzed. Even a few decades ago, it was even considered which of the sexes would cope better in such a situation. This time, scientists decided to analyze the question of how many people should be the minimum number of such a first human colony on Mars to be able to function efficiently on an ongoing basis. This problem was addressed by researchers at George Mason University. Determining this number is important. This is because it is one of those things that absolutely must be carefully analyzed before such a colony is even created. In any case, it is equally important to identify the personality types that would be best suited to take part in such a mission. In the process, methods are also being developed to overcome other potential difficulties that such colonists could encounter. Computer modeling turned out to be helpful in searching for answers to these questions. In order to develop it, data and information collected during previous space travels were used. In particular, this concerned even the questionnaires filled out by the crew members of the International Space Station. On the other hand, the information collected in places where people remain without contact with the outside world for a long time has also proved useful. And a perfect example here are, for example, certain Arctic zones and people working in isolation in local research stations. The scientists conducted a total of five simulations, each of which was supposed to represent the functioning of a Martian colony over a period of 28 Earth years. In the meantime, various factors influencing its current functioning were also modified. One of the main ones was the number of people living in it. And that's how it was found that at least 22 people would have to live in such a colony. This is the minimum number. During the research, attempts were also made to take into account and identify specific personality traits that could have an impact on the functioning of the colony. This includes e.g. resistance to stress, level of neuroticism or social skills. In the above context, it was found that, which will probably come as no surprise to anyone, people who are above all friendly, striving for agreement should be preferred here they would guarantee not only the survival of the mission but also its development on the other hand when looking for potential participants neurotic people should rather be omitted it turned out that they could negatively affect the colony itself Thousands of emperor penguin chicks have died as a result of sea ice melting. Four of the five known breeding colonies of emperor penguins in the Bellingshausen Sea region of West Antarctica have been destroyed. The ice beneath the chicks melted and disintegrated before the chicks developed the waterproof feathers they needed to survive in the ocean. It is estimated that up to 10,000 people died. Young penguins. Progressive climate change is increasingly threatening animal species living on Earth. This is especially true of the polar regions. The animals inhabiting them literally begin to lose ground under their paws. New analyzers of satellite images from last year have shown a catastrophic decline in sea ice concentration in West Antarctica. 
As a result of this event, up to 10,000 people may have died. Chicks of the Emperor Penguin, Aptenidites Falstery. The hardest hit areas were in the central and eastern Bellingshausen Sea region, where in some parts no ice had formed at all. The description and results of the analyses were published in the journal, Communications Earth and Environment. In terms of the extent and amount of ice that has melted in Antarctica, 2022 has been a catastrophic year. The areas in the Bellingshausen Sea, its central and eastern parts, were in the worst situation, where losses amounted to 100% in some places. Unfortunately, some animals directly depend on sea ice. Emperor penguins are the best example here, for which sea ice is crucial. For most of the year, it provides a connection to the mainland. For penguins, this is an extremely important time, because that's when their females lay their eggs. This usually happens in May and June. The chicks hatch about 65 days later. However, until December or even January, they are not yet able to develop adequate, waterproof feathers to think about leaving the nest. They are therefore at this time particularly exposed to unfavorable conditions in their immediate surroundings. And while the mating season started normally in 2022 in terms of ice, it only got worse after that. The ice broke away from the land earlier than usual, and its cover shrank to the record low levels recorded in 2021. There were five colonies of emperor penguins in the vicinity of the Bellingshausen Sea, numbering from 630 to as many as 3,500 breeding pairs. And it is in what their mating season looked like in 2022 that all their tragedy caused by global warming is revealed. Only the penguins on Rothschild Island have seen the presence of young. In the case of all four remaining colonies, despite many trials and efforts, scientists have not been able to determine their presence. This means that they did not manage to develop the feathers mentioned above before the ice broke off, with the result that all chicks either drowned or froze. The researchers strongly emphasize that during the entire time that the observations are carried out, they have not yet had to deal with the fact that the penguin mating season ended with such a tragedy. Unfortunately, this species is extremely vulnerable to the negative effects of climate change. And the forecasts for the loss of the ice cover are not optimistic. Unfortunately, Extreme situations such as the one in 2021 and 2022 are expected to occur more often and their spatial extent will increase. It should be emphasized that the low concentration of sea ice around Antarctica has been maintained since 2016. Therefore, these are no longer isolated phenomena, but a clear trend. Scientists say that if global warming is not stopped, it is estimated that as much as 90% of emperor penguin colonies in Antarctica will become quasi-extinct colonies. Meanwhile, even at this point in August 2023, the Antarctic sea ice level is significantly lower than in previous years, and in some areas there is no sea ice at all.